So we're, we're, we're covering barren areas, we're reseeding, we're refertilizing, and we're making sure that the cover of a cap exceeds, what, 40%. That's the standard, 40% cover. Well, to many of us, 40% cover is not good enough. It meets the standard. And in some cases, we exceed 40% in spades. But what we would do is we would, we would have to segregate it. We have to be clear what's remedial action. But the, the opportunities for uh, enhancing when we are pretty sure this is as good as it's going to get on the remedial side of things and going in. And every area we enhance, you know, <coughs> that has to be maintained in its enhanced state with a restoration dollar. We can't, you know, like, make a little forest and say, okay, now that's the cap, and now we're going to use a, a remedial dollar to maintain the forest. It's not going to work that way. So we're going to have to make sure the restoration enhancements are self-supported. They are self-reliant in the sense that in some cases we may water them in the first few years, but we can't really pursue uh, a watering program. Although another part of the uh, enhancement project may be to try to replicate the water treatment system that we have demonstrated at the Belmont. Now, we haven't seen the final report yet in terms of the dollars uh, per gallon treated and then used for irrigation in the area around the Belmont, but to the extent that the capital costs of uh, package treatment systems at each of the mines, which are in public ownership, to bring water from underground, treat it, and then use it for irrigation of areas surrounding the mine yards, that would be a proposal that would have to be costed out and brought to you as well. So there's some possibilities there, but Generally, yes, it's, it's, it's integrated, but practically speaking, we're going to have to be judicious with, with one dollar versus another. Can I, can I ask you a cap question? Wouldn't, wouldn't the caps have to be substantially upgraded in order to do something like the, the 30,000 tree project you talked about? I realize it's just a concept, but, but you couldn't plant trees on these caps in most places right now. Correct. We have to build up the soils. Some places four feet in order to provide adequate root zones. We would pick the species of trees that do not go down much beyond five or six feet. Uh, but yeah, we have to build up the soils. That's where the the lion's share of the dollars would actually go to import soils, pick spots again based on topography where it made sense and didn't interrupt the stormwater flows and uh, collection systems. But yeah. But with the, the 30,000 tree project was in these neighborhoods. And there are plenty of, of places in the neighborhoods, not on capped areas where we can plant trees. In everybody's backyard, uh, I think we could, we, could, we could get a lot of trees growing and, and not run into mine waste. I think the mine waste is, is generally concentrated in the draws. And uh, you know, there's certain areas that we're not going to be able to make it go. And, and uh, we're, we lose some. But uh, the answer to your question is yes, that soil enhancements and soil buildups are very, very much a part of a diversity project. Do you think that will have the biggest long-term impact for you? I'm talking 50 years from now. The diversity project or in, diversity. Ge in general? Thinking the gaps, planting more trees. Well, I think so. I, I think it will be a project. You know, being a guy who's, you know, sort of, been part of local government, uh, you know, we think that these investments in infrastructure are all about youth's future and all about keeping us, uh, you know, uh, the, the affordability of, of, of living and, uh, and working in our community. So every dollar spent on infrastructure to serve the greater uh, good is a dollar well spent. So I wouldn't want to start comparing about what would make the best and the most appreciable difference to the future of our community. But certainly the look of the hill and the expectations that have been expressed by the citizens over the years is that, hey, let's make it look a little better than that. And uh, that's what we're trying to address. Sir, did you have a comment on that? I would like to follow up on that. A couple things we've been doing 
you heard what you had to say is we worked on approximately 86 sites this summer. Those sites were made available. We're going to work with uh, the Montana Tech uh, uh, Greenhouse and uh, so we can match remediation and restoration. Um, I'd like to point out in front of my house on uh, the corner of 13th and Clark Street, we did one of those enhancements. It's fabulous. People all from my neighborhood come to see it. Um, I paid for the watering of it. It wasn't really expensive to, to do that. Uh, the native flowers were three to four feet high. Um, so it's just a little bit more uh, money to go with the re uh, remediation is just absolutely amazing. So next summer I encourage you all to come and see what we can do with these islands and what they could look like with uh, restoration uh, monies. And I don't believe it's a lot of restoration money. So we are working and we do want to see these islands and so I think it's a very good partnership. <coughs> couple of things. One thing I'd like to point out is that this was an anomalous year in terms of how much water we got and the kind of growth that we've seen. So I wouldn't want to make or stake the future of uh, what we're doing on what we saw this year with regard to that. I want to thank Rick for his presentation for giving me a, a broader, broad overview on our water system. And I think this is the most useful single piece of paper that I've encountered in the last two and a half years. <laughs> so I appreciate that too. Um, my question is, uh, a, cu a couple of meetings ago, we had talked about the urgency of moving forward on some possible synergies with expedited uh, actions. And we have built that into our plan for allocating money that could be used to enhance something that's already going on right now and that we might do some harm or miss a, a, an important opportunity. What, what are those expedited actions that we could help with immediately right now? 